Hello everybody and welcome to another Apple Gazette video quick tip. What we're going to do today is actually show you Safari 3. For those of you that may not have tried it out yet or haven't tried out all the new features, we're going to go over the new features of Safari 3 and the different things that we can do with it. There's a lot of cool stuff that's new in Safari 3 that I want to go ahead and point out. Now, the first thing I want to show you is related to text fields. If you go in and you have a, a text field like in a contact page for example you can see right here you've got your name your email your website but down here in the message you know the box is only so big but in Safari now you can drag the box if you can get a hold of it and you can make it as big as you want to give yourself as much room as possible to write it's very similar if you use WordPress you can actually do that with the with the, the visual WordPress editor it's something I actually find quite helpful when working in WordPress and I think this is a really cool feature that they've added with uh, with Safari 3 that I hope Firefox and and other browsers pick up on later. I do think that 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 uh, Safari that Apple's the first one to do this, but I could be wrong. But I think it's a very neat little feature that they've added there. Another thing that uh, that is very cool is the tab functions and the new additions that we've got with that. Let me show you how that works real quick here. You know, we can open up new windows. Okay, so we've got we've got a few tabs in, in, in you know happening here. I'm going to open up a few more windows here real quick so you can get a a good idea of what's going on here. You know, conveniently I'm I'm opening all Bloggy Network blogs that you can check out at bloggynetwork.com forward slash blogs dot php if you'd like to. But anyway, uh, you can look at all of these different tabs. Now let's say that I'm recording a podcast or something and I want these different things open but I want them in a different order. You can just grab the tab and drag it however you want. You know, you can move it along and you can organize them however you think is best. And, and this is a very neat feature as far as efficiency is concerned for putting things in order for you so that you can get them together. Now, let's say there's something that, you know, you want to go and move that into a new window. Like, I'm going to take this Forever Geek tab move it over here but if I drag it out you can see it makes a little screenshot pops up a whole new window and boom I get a brand new window now another cool little feature of this is I can take you know let's say I'll take my filmsy tab here and I can move this either into its own window out here or I can move it over here into this window as another tab so that that's another uh, a cool addition as far as the, the the tab things are concerned but you know, that's not the only uh, new stuff that you can do. There's still a few more things. Uh, one thing that is particularly awesome is the search feature. Now, you just hit Apple F here on the site, and you can type in, you know, let's say we type in Apple on Forever Geek here. Now, we get 12 matches. You can see right here. It tells you how many times it appears on the page. And let me retype here and watch over here in the corner. Watch over here. When you type, as it matches you can see that it turns it sort of has this little animated thing to show you where it is now you can go up here and just click on these tabs and you know click on the arrows and go from left to right and it will find everything for you and highlight all of them in this little orange box i think it's very useful and uh, i'm very pleased with this i think this is uh, significantly better than uh, it's, it's it's unbelievably better than than the previous version of safari also uh, ie but uh, i think it's even better than firefox which has always had a really good search and while the firefox search is still good it's still very good um you know i think this is a a much better way to do it and i hope that if future versions of firefox uh, uh, take this into account now there's also another uh you know interesting little thing like let's say that we type in you know the wrong address you all you you now get a Google search to help you find the text so that little box pops up you hit enter and then boom it's going to tell me of course that I don't have anything because this is a, a you know just a sort of strange address that I, I put together but there's a lot of really really interesting features on uh, in Safari 3 now I'm using an article posted by Griffith on forever geek as a reference to this so I want to make sure that we cover everything that he covered in his article which are the new search functions we've been over that text field resize we've been over that a tab close warning I'll show you that in just a second uh, Google search uh, on error pages dragging out tabs in new windows and you can also add a bookmark for the open tabs it's a very nice feature Safari so that you can automatically add bookmarks for all the open tabs at once so we can go in here 
and we can add you can see add bookmark for these four tabs and I can just click on that and make a bookmark for every one of the tabs that I have open and we can name it you know I'll name it bloggy network and there we go you know now I've got a now I've got bloggy network set up here and just click on it. it's going to open all four of those for me every time that I want it to so th that's another uh, uh, nice addition especially if you get a lot of links um, you know, either you're looking at various sites like you're on Dig or something like that, and you want to bookmark a lot of them for later. That's actually that that, that that can be used very easily as a sort of a session saver. You know, just bookmark all the places that you're at right now, name it whatever you you were using at the time, and you can come back to it later, open everything up just like you left. So that's another uh, nice feature that I think is very useful. Um, now, if we close this, we're going to get a window that says, "Are you sure you want to close all four of these tabs?" We're going to go ahead and close them because we're pretty much done with our little tutorial today. But I, I think that Safari three is a very, very, uh, very, very useful. I'm very excited about it, and I, I hope that uh, they get a few of the rendering issues that they seem to have with it taken care of and that the Windows version uh, gets to be a little bit better off. But that those are some features of Safari 3 for the Mac. Um, you know, Go and download it at apple.com slash safari. Give it a try and let us know what you think about it on applegazette.com.